Welcome to Lobo Gun Leather. Today we're going to do a video on how to take and make a pattern of your rifle stock for a buttstock cover. And so here we have one with a drop down and Matthew's going to be working with, with me here to show how we do it. And uh, the first step you're going to do is you can see we started a little bit and we've got a priority mailing box here from the USPS. Uh, take any piece of cardboard you want. It doesn't have to be that terrible thick but just put a little piece of cardboard down there, tape it, and make sure that it's centered on the bottom of your rifle. And from there, he's going to start taking tape. You can take masking tape. You can take blue painter's tape. It really don't matter. Um, just take it and start. He's putting a straight edge right down there. And the reason why is you want to try to keep it as, as square with the top line. So as you're coming down, you can see how... It's fairly square right there. And Almost gonna, a little bit. You're gonna wanna do another one on the, the other side where that drop starts. And if we were doing a rifle buttstock cover that doesn't have that drop down, we'd go all the way back to the back plate there. And uh, then put a pencil line. And then what we wanna do is put a pencil line back there to, to uh, put a definite line where that starts. And so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start wrapping that with tape and just continue to put layer after layer. And uh, Matthew likes to take little short pieces. I'll take the longer strips and just wrap it around there. Um, but the idea is you wanna keep it as flat to your stock as possible. The better job that you do when you're putting it all together, uh, it's gonna translate into, when we get your pattern, it's gonna translate into a better stock cover. One of the things that this allows us to do if, is if you have a stock that was custom made and you really want to have an exact buttstock cover, we can take an exact copy of it and we can have you a leather cover that's going to fit it exact. And so just continue to wrap them around there. And he, there again, he's starting to trying to get that straight line and that way we know exactly uh, where, that's, where that's at when we get it here in the shop. And He's gonna put a few more pieces going like that. Make sure you go over top of that cardboard. You wanna have that all encapsulated with that tape. This is a technique that's done in the shoe industry. What they'll do is they'll take a shoe last and they'll cover it with tape, just like we're doing here. And being that because it's got all different contours to it, it's really hard to get an exact of what you would need to do to make an exact replica of it. And so they'll cover that in tape and then they'll turn around and cut it off. And that's how they get the pattern for when they're going to make a custom pair of shoes. Or if you. And I like to go with about two, three layers of tape. If you get much more than that, it starts to get very bulky and it won't lay flat for the next step. And, you know, you can go the other direction and put a couple going crossways and just building that up and getting a little tape on there because pretty quick here where you're going to see why we put that piece of car uh, cardboard on there, we're going to cut that off. So if you have a utility knife or an X-Acto knife works really well, then... Excuse me a moment. I'm just kind of putting in that line where that where everything is at. And we'll straighten if there's something that doesn't quite look right when we get in the shop, we'll straighten it out. And so then you can take you and put a pencil line there and just take an exacto knife and cut right down the center, right into that piece of cardboard that you put there. And so by Having a nice stout piece of cardboard, it really protects your rifle stock. Don't cut so deep. All you're trying to do is just go through the layers of your tape. You do not want to get into that, that wood. So just, just through there lightly. And as you can see, as he's starting to peel it apart there. And don't leave this on too long, otherwise it will leave residue on your stock, and that is not fun to get off. So if you take it off right away, you're not going to have a problem with the residue, but just, uh, you know, just don't leave it there for a couple days and then decide to come back to it. And just slowly go around and peel that off. And 
now that you have that and you've got an exact copy of what that would look like, you can take that, put it down on a piece of paper and stick it down there, lay it nice and flat and send that to us and I will be able to take that and transform it into a nice leather buttstock cover for you. And that is how you go about making a template. And if you have, let's say, you got a nice fancy uh, lever action, an older one, and you don't have any swivels in there, you can do the same thing, and we can take a copy of that, and we can also make this here piece. And that way, you don't have to actually put any hardware into that uh, antique stock, and you can keep it all in, rig in original form, but yet put a, a sling on it. So if you're in need of a, a rifle buttstock cover, give us a holler, and we'd love to get you set up.